Zero to three depends on the brand. Really? Yeah. Do you find that quite hard to maintain? You know, I don't need that much. And I need some hints. You look good, you look good. But I want to be skinny, because the skinny girls yeah. are the ones that look like you yeah, and successful. Is... I think you look very good. What are you, size four? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> love you. <laughs> I mean, what about the girls in your schools and stuff? Are they all kind of competing? Everyone like is like, oh, I'm I'm really bad. Bad. I feel bad. I'm getting fat this week. Like, so do you think if I was to go to your school and ask all the girls in your school what was the most important thing to them? They would think? say either how clear their faces or how skinny they are. Yeah, so it wouldn't be about doing well at school no. or any of that. No. It's about it's looking about good. Us, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What size are you? Two. Are you? And what size are you? Zero. So are you? But what size are you? You're really skinny. I'm a zero. Are you? I'm tiny. I don't like that small, but I'm, I'm not like a zero. zero yeah. yeah. By the afternoon, I was feeling pretty despondent. I'm in my own little world that's obsessed with body image. It's all I'm thinking about. It's all I can see. I'm even kind of jealous of women that are a bit bigger than me at the moment because I'm thinking, you're like a cow, you just let yourself go, you can have fun, enjoy a nice life. I actually would rather be like them. <laughs> and then I see someone who's really skinny and I think, oh, you're a lucky cow, you're really skinny. So I can't really, I'm not really satisfied either way. I was discovering that trying to stick to a 500 calories a day diet was a full-time job. I'm so obsessed. I've got this calorie counter book stuck to me 24-7. <laughs> Five to ten calories in a coffee. Bloody hell. Everyone must think I'm reading the juiciest novel. <laughs> I've literally got my face in it constantly, and I'm not. I'm just, oh, apple, 50 calories. Oh, piece of melon, 20 calories. Less than two weeks in, and the diet was already beginning to consume me. So miserable. Restaurants are really hard places to be. I don't want to be here. I don't want to. I don't want to watch people eat. I don't want it. I don't want to. I don't want. I'd ra I would rather actually leave this gorgeous establishment than sit here and smell delicious food that I can't eat and watch other people have a good time. I'm just kind of getting used to that feeling of being hungry all the time. You know. Um, I'm just like kind of used to it, which is a really weird feeling because usually I'd do everything I could to prevent feeling hungry. And now I kind of I've got to the stage where I kind of I'm kind of proud of myself. I can't believe I'm feeling hungry. My time in LA had left a bitter taste in my mouth. I'd been seduced by the glamour of Hollywood Zero. But the pain in getting down to size was proving harder to stomach. Do you remember what you were last time? 10-7, I think it was. OK, so... 64 and a half kilos. Oh, that's rubbish. It depends what you were. If you were 66 last time... For all that effort that's not to be changing is just really getting me down. I haven't changed for about five days, and I haven't veered off the diet or done anything. 259 calories. Calorie counting was beginning to get me down. I found out about a company who could take away that stress. The Silhouette diet meant a home delivery of pre-prepared calorie counted meals. But Silhouette insisted on a thousand calories a day, twice what my diet would allow. I'd have to have half of every meal and give the rest to Lily. To ensure there would be no let up in my exercise regime, I got myself a personal trainer in the form of fitness guru, Matt Roberts. So this is all about now really ramping up, really burning calories, making your body go into that next level of overload. And the God, he's sexy. If we handle it well, we manage it well, and we keep energy levels just on that cusp of feeling tired and OK, then you lose lots of weight and you should feel broadly OK getting there. So quite tough for you, actually. We can get you there, but it's going to hurt. <laughs> Personal trainers are great for motivation, and Matt's good looks were definitely motivating me. Your fitness is actually okay. It's all right, you have a base. Are you having plenty of water? Yeah. yeah. How much a day? Um, quite a lot, but I think I need to set that up. 
good hydration, it's absolutely vital. Without it, you'll feel like death. This would be impossible. By the end of the third week, I dropped seven pounds. I booked an appointment to go and see a man called Dr. Joshi. With his radical methods, he's helped the likes of Gwyneth Paltrow and Kate Moss keep in shape. I went for a consultation at his clinic in London's Harley Street. This is very nice. Thank you. Um, I'm size 12 at the moment. Well, actually, probably about size 10 at the moment. But I really want to get down to a size zero. So, so you're going down from a size 10? Yeah. Okay. To a UK size 4. To a UK 4, okay. What I try and do is to make people healthier. Right. Hmm? Not necessarily very, very thin. Okay. Okay. If you were, for example, to go on a crash diet where you were to limit your calories to a very low so level... what would you say was a very low level? Well, I mean, you know, two, three hundred calories okay, a well, day. Okay, I've been having five hundred yes. a day for the last two weeks. Yes, yeah, that's probably a little bit too low. And then I was about to get something of a shock. 29.3% is the fat yeah. that you're holding within the mm. body, and 49.8% is the amount of water that you're holding within your body okay. as well. Is okay. that a lot? Um, it, it isn't a lot. It's actually quite good. Okay. But it does show that we've actually got quite a lot of fat. Okay. Yes, but we do need to bring it down. And also the actual quotient for the fat as well is a sort of in the almost sort of obese area as well. So it's, you're have, you have a lot of fat in proportion to your body. Although you're not obese, obese, you have internal fat as well. Oh your God. metabolic age is 28, and to function normally, you need 1,378 calories a day. Oh. Mm -hmm. We're not going to necessarily give you that many calories every day, okay. but we do need to take it up above the five. So my body, on. just to survive, tick over, needs 1,300 and what's it cal calories a, a day, day to function normally. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Good. Let's go downstairs. I've, I'm in the obese category for body fat. What the hell does that mean? Look at me. I'm sorry, I... Uh, mind you, that's not him, that's not even the media, that's science <laughs> telling me I'm obese. I don't get it. I don't get it. That's really upset me. I'm going to give you some supplements that are going to start encouraging your, your digestion to work a little bit better. And I'm just going to give you some other supplements to get your sugar levels to normalise a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, another um, two or three supplements that will work on your kidney, liver function, etc. as okay. well. It's quite normal to be taking lots of supplements in your diet. Right. A lot of, as you said, all these celebrities or whatever, they do various diets, etc. as well. Is this well. how they fill their tummies up? No, pills. You don't you don't <laughs> fill your tummy up with pills, you fill your tummy up with food. Okay. But what you're going to do is to actually take certain vitamins in your diet to allow you to work a bit better. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. I just find it a bit funny how, you know, the Olympic medics, probably the best in the country, are quite happy to pass me off as body perfect. And then some holistic guy mentions the word obese within twenty minutes. I, I had every single test you could possibly have done on your body at the Olympic place, you know? And then I stood on a pair of scales and he told me I was obese. I think that's, that's dangerous. That's dangerous for people that don't have the support that I've got and who are going in there with a bit of a fluffy head thinking that they're fat. I went to meet Dr Dee Dawson at the Rhodes Farm Clinic in North London. Dee has 17 years of experience dealing with girls suffering from eating disorders and I wanted to find out whether she felt the trend for skinny celebrities was setting a dangerous precedent for the young girls. When we talk to the children here we often hear that they're using role models like Victoria Beckham. Clearly children who develop anorexia nervosa have problems of one sort or another, very often problems at home but could be at school and um, lots of lots of problems, not usually just one problem. But the reason that they choose starvation as a way of dealing with those problems, I'm quite sure, is because of the things they see in the media, because they see successful people who are very, very thin, and they feel that this is the way to success, the way to perfection. I think it's irresponsible of everybody concerned uh, to show images of people who are very, very underweight, clearly underweight, some of them sick, um, that, that these people are held up as successful people, as role models for our children. Yeah.